Hey, Mealy, I'll just step in um, while we wait for TVNZ. Uh, can you just talk us through how dark was it at the end of that game? Um, I wasn't focusing too much on the light while I was out there batting, but um, probably in the last few overs, um, I think the last over I got a full toss and probably picked it up a little bit later than I'd hope I normally would. So, um, yeah, it, it got dark quite quickly, but I'd say kind of before those last few overs, it was more just um, focusing on what needed to be done. And did you feel like with 10 runs, uh, and 12 balls to get. Yeah, I think um, we set up the game nicely and it wasn't the easiest wicket to play on. But, um, yeah, with, t with 10 runs to get or 12, 12 balls, you'd back yourself to do that. And um, I think we saw with Brooke coming out there, then she, she showed as well. And there's spinners who bowled out who'd been effective on that wicket. So, um, yeah, I mean, we won't know what would have happened, but... I guess if we were out there, we would have backed ourselves too. And, uh, you know, Susie just seems to do it every time. Doesn't she out there at the top lane at good platform? Yeah, yeah. She's a legend of the game. It's awesome to see her still going and, and scoring runs consistently. So uh, we love batting together. Um, and it was nice to get that partnership going as well, especially when they were bowling a lot of spin. And, um, yeah, she really set the platform for the team. Just finally from me as well, our friend Jonas, a couple of really good key wickets there with her spin. How did you feel like? She yeah, um, absolutely love watching Fran bowl. And I think she's got a long career ahead of her where she'll have a lot of success. To, so to see her go out and bowl like that today, I'm not surprised because I've seen her do it um, while we've been here. While we've been here training and um, yeah, I thought she bowled extremely well and um, with our spin coach, Craig Howard, he's been amazing. So um, it's been great prep and um, awesome to see young players like Fran do so well. Cool. Thanks, Mealy. Congrats. Thank you. Sorry, right. everyone. There was a bit of a tech glitch there. Um, Mealy, it's Jordan here from TVNZ. Uh, one of the big things Sophie talked about yesterday is the unknown in terms of handling the heat. What was that like for you guys out there today? Yeah, it wasn't. It actually wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a little bit of wind wind around, but you definitely sweat a lot more than what you do at home. So um, I think for us, it's just it is what it is. We can't change 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 the weather here, and um, I think it's an awesome opportunity to get to play over here in these conditions, which um, we're going to have to do as international cricketers. And yeah, we. I, I think the heat it's just part of it, and it's learning to adapt to it. But um, I think we've gone all right so far with it. A cool group of you have just obviously come straight over from the UK playing a lot of cricket. How beneficial do you think that was in the build-up? And especially, I guess, given that you haven't been able to get a lot of cricket in so far while you've been over in the Indies. Yeah, I guess there's nothing like um, playing games to prepare you for a series. So uh, playing in the 100 and the Commonwealth Games before that, um, it's definitely helped a lot. It's obviously a shorter format, so to switch to this one-day mode on um, tougher wickets as well is, is a good challenge in itself. But, um, yeah, you can't go wrong with playing games to help prepare yourself. And um, that, that, that's been awesome for us to kind of just keep that momentum going from where we left, left um, at the Commonwealth Games. Just lastly, for me, there's a lot of players in the team who are new to this touring environment. What's it like to be on tour with them? And I guess, um, are, are you taking the lead there on the guitar or how, how are you keeping them entertained? On I, I absolutely love this group. Um, it's a very special culture we have. So, um, yeah, we're just all great mates. And I think after that Commonwealth Games, I really miss the white burn. So, it's great being back with everyone and we all get along. Yeah, bring my guitar out as much as possible and hopefully a few people step up with the singing. Uh, I'll, ju I'll jump on for Sally. I think we've, we've had a double up. But, um, Millie, can you can you just talk to, um, obviously, you know, that the, the team getting that, that bronze medal at the Com Games and, and now getting this this first win over in, in the Windies. Um, like, how how is the... I guess the confidence levels in, in the squad right now to compare to maybe six months ago. Yeah, I guess winning always helps with the confidence. But um, I think the thing we've done really well is we prepare well, we train well, and we kind of we leave no page unturned. We prepare really well, so um, I think everybody knows their role. And just 
giving each player the confidence to go out there and play play to their strengths has been um something I've noticed since the Cobb games and we've got a great great group of um still some really experienced players and then the likes of Fran and Eden who have come in and just brought this competitiveness to the group so um yeah it's obviously winning helps your confidence but I think you know either way I think we can be pretty happy with how this new group's put put some performances together. And obviously Ben's been there for a few months now. Are you guys are you starting to notice the sort of philosophy? What was that? Sorry. With you, with you the, the 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 new coach, you, have you noticed any new philosophies and sort of is he starting to leave um, his fingers on the team? Yeah, Ben Ben's been amazing. Um, I can't fault him except there's Aussie Aussie accent, but. He's obviously come from a winning environment as well, which I think helps. And he knows the women's game extremely well. And um, he, he builds confidence in players and he watches a lot of cricket and plans plans a lot. So um, we have a lot of good plans going into games with matchups and everything like that. And he, he's, just so, he's, he's just so smart and knowledgeable. And I think each player already has learned so much from him and, um, yeah, I've absolutely loved working under him so far. Uh, I think we've got one. Oh, thanks, mate. Thank you. One more left. That's you. You can jump on. Hey, Mealy. Um, Aaron from Stuff here. Can you just talk us through the end? Um, was there any confusion there about who had won the game, or did you know what the par score was? And did Sophie have the equations on that sheet of paper by the look of it? Did she? Yeah, there's a little bit of confusion. The umpires kind of just um, said time because of the light. And, um, yeah, I wasn't really too sure what was going on. I was just ready to kind of face it over. But um, Brooke seemed to know that we had won the game, who I was out there with. And then, yeah, I wasn't quite sure as the West Indies thought they'd won and, and what. And, um, yeah, so it came out and the umpires knew knew the result as well. So, yeah, it's a weird finish. It's been a bit of a weird day as well, waiting around while it's sunny. But um, I guess that's cricket. And I think the way we've just kind of adapted and things out of, outside of our control, we just let it be and don't don't get phased by it. <clears throat> so the match had gone past the cutoff time, was it 5.56 um, local time? And with the bad lights, so it was a combination of both. And you guys were five runs ahead of your par score. And was was it just the umpires just having to explain it all? To you cut you cut out a little bit there. Was it the umpires trying to explain it to you? Oh. Uh, yeah, the umpires at the end kind of came in and, and explained it a little bit. And obviously, Sophie, Sophie marched on out there with her piece of paper, which was helpful. Um, just just to know where we had got the win, I think. Yeah, I wasn't didn't really know what was happening um, as I was just kind of focusing on batting. But um, yeah, the, the umpires knew what was happening. And um, yeah, it's, I, yeah, I wasn't really aware what was going on. But um, nice to get the win in the end. Good on you. Thanks for that. Well done. Cool. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks a lot, everyone. Um, we'll see you at the next ODI in a couple of days. Thank you.